And then I start to work on 3D flights and imaging, which is actually another dimension of imaging. Let's think about this way. If you want to understand the life, right, you need to understand two things. You need two kind of information. One is the spatial resolution, right? Basically, you have to see the details, right? You have to see the object. And the other dimension is you want to see the process, you want to see things alive, right? Because if you, for any super resolution technique, or most super resolution technique, what you have is a very high resolution image of a dead sample, of a fixed sample, a dead stuff. Yeah. At the moment, on a plane, that's the most of time you can get. I mean, how much you can interpret this life, a living process from that information, not enough, right? And then you will need, you will want to have a image, a live dynamic 3D process alive with high resolution. And that's a different challenge. And that is a project I was working on when I was in Eric's lab and since that actually. So the differences I, between like something as a very thin slice of some tissue over uh, one moment in time right. versus the already dead versus something that's alive yeah, yeah. like a drosophila fruit fly right, right, and right. being able to image while it's alive over time right, with the right. brain or something right you, you can yeah. think about that way or you can say you, you let's say you are having a hd image let's mm -hmm. say 4k image in your hands about a um, football game or you prefer to say uh, to let's say to, to, to watch the game at maybe 480 <laughs> uh, yeah. pixel resolution yeah. for, for a whole one hour. play just yeah. one play versus the whole game it, it, yeah. it, exactly so basically actually you want both right you want yeah. the, you want the yeah. high resolution yeah. live video of the entire process yeah. but at that point of time 2010 there were some uh, several good live imaging techniques, but I there... like that sports analogy a lot. Right, That's a really good one, actually. Sure. One seeing one play of the game and trying to make some uh, inference about how the biology works right. versus watching the whole game in high definition exactly um, that's a really good analogy. yeah so in the end we are collecting information of the process live process right mm -hmm. so basically and then that was uh the let's say the motivation of my project how i started it